Back in the mid-1990s, I had the good fortune, pun intended, to work with William C. Lammy, author of the book Karmic Tarot. We were in a bookstore just outside Austin, sharing tips and techniques of reading the cards, as will often happen if you meet another tarot reader. And Bill put out the cards just as an example, and he said, these are amazing cards, and he began to do his reading. He said, these are really outstanding cards. I wonder whose fortune I'm reading. And I said, Bill, you're not reading for anyone. Uh, this is just an exercise between readers. He says, oh no, whenever you read tarot, you're always reading for someone. Someone in this room we're reading for. And because it was a public place, we couldn't very well go to each person in that bookstore, excuse me, are these your cards? <laughs> Would these be the cards? But for the 18 years since having that conversation with Bill, I've always wondered, what if we could make that happen? And I've never had an opportunity to test this until now. Ladies and gentlemen, of the open stage, please rise up out of your seats and join me in an amazing experiment. This would be the participation part of our program, rule number six. But stand way back, we don't want to block the view of the camera. And I'm going to start reading the cards. If the statement does not apply to you, has no application in your life, sit down. But if the card I'm saying, if I'm, what I'm reading to you has application to you, keep standing and then come a little bit closer to the stage. And by the process of elimination, the cards will choose a reading for someone right now. While I'm shuffling, think about a concern in your life, something you have a question for the tarot, a concern that you need guidance or advice on. Two cuts to the left, one for open, one for stage. We're reading tonight for someone who has given up or feel like giving up on their dreams because they're not applicable, because it doesn't seem realistic, and is going through a bit of a dry spell creatively. This person moves very cautiously, prudently into the world. If this does not apply to you, please sit down. But if it does, Keep standing. There is a dominating figure in your life currently, male. Drinks too much, perhaps. Emotionally keeps you tied, keeps you under his thumb. And it seems like forever before you can be on your own to a new job someplace else. If this applies to you, keep standing. If it does not, please be seated. Now, because of the brightness of the lights, I do not know how many people may or may not be standing. Could someone give me a shout as to how many people are still standing? How many? Give me a number, I cannot hear you. Three. Would those three people come close to the edge of the stage? Keep your back to the camera, we will protect your you're, uh, you are anonymous here. Okay, I see one. I barely see two and three. Excellent. <laughs> there is another force in your life, stronger, more powerful. If you do not already know this person, you are about to meet him. 
He is a king. He is of authority. He has big ideas. He has a place in a world for you. Currently, you feel you are not quite, you are not enough of a student. You have not developed your skill or craft enough. But soon you will. You'll have at least one false start, and then amazing. If you know a person like this in your life, someone who is your advocate and is a position of authority, helping you out when you are still just a student, please come closer to the stage. If this does not apply to you, please sit down. All three people are still here. To the person to my left, the cards have a message for you. To the person in the middle, the cards have a message for you. And to the person on the far right, the cards have a message for you. I would ask now that my mic be cut.